Hey guys, this is Scott. In this video, I'm going to show you how there really isn't just one metric that matters in your profitability in your DEA business. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how changing conversion rates can overcome high cost per lead or low uh, lead to app conversion rates. It's all in the conversions, guys. So I'm going to use the workbook today to show you uh, what I mean by that. So I've opened the workbook and I've navigated uh, over to my chart for projections versus actuals and uh, by default your workbook will open up here to the actuals worksheet uh, to see a list of all your tabs rather than having to scroll across at the bottom here you can simply right click down here at the uh, at the lower left hand portion between those two arrows and you'll get a listing of all your charts so I'm gonna go here to the chart projections versus actuals and here we go uh, what you'll see displayed right now uh, in the purple series is our monthly marketing budget. Uh, also here I'm going to open up the worksheet or the uh, user form by going to the DEA Profit Maximizer tab on our Excel menu. I'm going to open that user form which by default opens to the Actuals tab. I'm going to set that to Projections. And uh, what you see here in terms of these values are how the workbook is currently set up. So in terms of this uh, marketing budget per month we began with a $3,000 a month marketing budget and we reapplied or reinvested our uh, earnings each month until we reach a $6,000 marketing cap. So that's why you see this line trend upward until we reach in our fifth month the marketing cap of $6,000 per month and you see a flat line there. The gray series is actually our cumulative marketing budget. So over the course of a year, we would have invested $63,440 in marketing. And the yellow represents, is, represents our projected gross profit. And I'm sorry, that's actually projected net profit. I uh, need to go make that change. So that's after we've accounted for our marketing budget. Uh, so we've, in this case, uh, we've got about a $77,000 a year business. Now what I'm going to show you is how when we play with uh, some of these metrics uh, that there really isn't a magic formula for what is a right number versus a wrong number in a given category. Uh, I want to call your attention first of all to the fact that I've turned on the 10% the 10-day uh, discounted price so that all my commissions are reflected according to the 10-day discount. I'm going to leave the marketing budget alone. I'm going to leave the positioning at black. And I'm going to show you how uh, we can overcome a high cost, high cost per lead. Currently, we're set at a cost per lead of $5.40. I'm going to jack that up a little bit here um, and make that uh, $7.40. As you can see, that brought our profitability way, way down in our business. But let me show you a few ways that we can overcome that. Uh, one way is to increase our lead to app conversion rate, which is currently set at 1.5%. I'm going to show you how if I just change that by a single percent, I'll go to 2.5%, you can see that we, uh, we very quickly got a $112,000 business. Uh, let's set that back to 1.5%. And what if, uh, what if we just maintain that 1.5%, but we're able to convert uh, our DEA sales at a much uh, greater rate. So let's set the uh, member to elite at 50%. You see there we went all the way to uh, almost a $90,000 a year business. Um, and I'm also going to set that elite uh, to silver at 50%. Most folks who go elite are going to also go silver. Uh, and then, you know, I'm going to set that black rate to 10%, which also means that that platinum needs to be at least 10%. And already you can see that uh, just by uh, converting uh, DEA sales at higher rates, we can overcome a fairly high cost per lead, a fairly low lead to app conversion rate. I recent talk, recently talked to one of our more successful affiliates this year, and uh, that person is achieving about a 1.2% lead to app conversion rate. However, they've got a, a very strong... Uh, conversion rates here in the DEA sales and this person has a very profitable DEA business. So I hope you can see the value of having a tool like this first of all to uh, to help you see 
uh, just what's possible in your business and how certain uh, conversion factors, uh, certain metrics can play, come into play in terms of your profitability. Uh, Scott here, I'll talk to you soon.